Hey guys, Sandy here, and I have my March Stories by the Month kit. I'm going to try something new this time and just use a 12 by 12 page protector with only 3 by 4 pockets in it. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, I have the stuff that I have left over from January and February. I have April, May, and June, so i got to get caught up on that. And then I brought out one um, little job of cards here, too, because I have so many 3x4 cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough here. Let's see what I can do. All right, guys, this is round two for me doing this voiceover. I voiced over this entire video with my microphone on mute. So not happy about that at all, but let's let's just see what comes out of my mouth this time. <laughs> if it's going to be similar to the last time or not. The sad thing is, is you guys will have no idea and I could literally be repeating the same exact thing over and over again and you'd have no idea. So. All right, let's get to it. Now, this is the March Stories by the Month kit, and I really think that this is a great value. You get that stamp, you get the chipboard, you get the 3x4 cards and the 4x6 cards for $9.99 a month. The quality is fantastic, and I am glad that I decided to go this way to kind of like jumpstart my foray into the project life style of memory keeping now when project life came out and it was you know the picture a day and all that kind of stuff i was like you've got to be kidding me i am so not into that but then the core kits started coming out and they started coming out with these great looking cards and they were fun and i was like i'm going to project life scrapbook i'm going to do it bought two core kits i brought the midnight edition and I think it's called the Happy Edition. Now the Midnight Edition I bought because it's black and white and just in gray and touches of yellow. And I thought that that was super, super neutral and I would be able to use that with anything. So I was thinking, like thinking ahead. And then I bought the Happy, I'm pretty sure it's the Happy one. I bought the Happy Edition because it had lots of bright, fun colors and I thought it would be great for Disney. And that was important because I knew that we were doing a lot of Disney trips and I thought I would get tired of scrapbooking Disney in the regular fashion. So I thought I need to project lifestyle this sucker. I need to just print off the photos and have these pretty cards and I'll just throw them in these pocket pages and my Disney albums will be done. And it turned out I didn't do that. And the reason why I didn't do that was because I never got bored scrapbooking Disney and I'm still not bored scrapbooking Disney. And we've been going since 2008 was our first Disney trip. So I ended up with all these Project Life cards and not even just Project Life cards. Like I would buy other companies cards. I bought Simple Stories. I bought, um, you know, whatever. The fancy Project Life cards, oh, the metal ones. I got gold and silver ones of those. I've got canvas ones. I've got acrylic. I've got craft. I've got watercolor paper ones. I have a ton. I even have the Chamel Starshine Mink uh, Project Life cards. I have a ton of them and I don't use them because I don't scrapbook Project Life. But um, it's definitely going to be a thing for me. I need to get these cards used. And I feel like going forward after this year when I'm finished with my Stories by the Month subscription for the year, I have plenty of Project Life style, pocket page style that I can continue this going forward and not have to subscribe to the stories by the month kit and i say that because i don't want to subscribe to the stories by the month kit past this 12 month time frame and that's because i'm tired of making kits work for me if i get a kit i want it to be a kit that i love that it's going to be fantastic. The products are cool. I like the style. I like the handwriting. I like the colors. And honestly, I'm really tired of getting kits in the mail and me having to make them work. At first, I'd get a package of ephemera. I would hate 75% of them or never use, would never use 75% of them. But I would kill that package of ephemera by maybe die cutting other things out of it or tucking it or all kinds of stuff. And I would have a sense of accomplishment from that because, you know, 
I used up some ephemera that I wasn't too keen on. But I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the work. Scrapbooking for me isn't about work. It's about fun. It's about playing with pretty paper. It's about stationery and markers and just all that kind of stuff that I just like. I like pens. I like paper. I like cutting and pasting. Like, oh my goodness, guys. Memory lane. Do you know what I miss doing as a little kid sitting down? Like I have a very vivid, vivid memory of sitting down in a kidney shaped table. I was wearing a pink ruffly shirt. Like I remember and pigtails. Okay. I I legitimately remember this and having that Elmer's paste in that jar that had the orange top and you lifted it off and the paste came out on that little brush thingy. Oh my goodness. Best, best times in kindergarten using that stuff. Loved, love that stuff. Anyway, I just like, I just like stationary stuff. I like paper. I like that kind of stuff. So I'm still going to buy the supplies. I'm still going to collect them, but I don't need it to be these supplies. And I need supplies that I'm going to buy to be ones that I'm in love with. So I will use them and not feel like I have to because what sucks is when I get this stuff that I'm not too crazy about, I feel like I have to use it so it doesn't sit in my room for years. And then why am I doing that? I'm getting, going through this stuff that I absolutely have to use because I don't want it sitting because I'm not a huge fan of it. And what does that mean for my stuff that I love that's sitting in my room? The stuff I love is sitting in my room, not being used because I have this weird mind thing where I've got to use the crap I don't even like. So, we're going to stop this. I am just going to end it. Going to be done. So, this I've committed from January to December because I want to keep the same I want to keep the same tone and the same feel throughout the entire year. So, I've got this set up and it's it's July. I've got the July kit now. So I'm committed for this year to use stories by the month, even though I'm making it work for me, even though I'm, you know, and I'm not using it all up. And I think at the end of the year, what I'll probably do is maybe sell the stamps 12, like 12 months of stamps. And then I don't know, maybe give away or sell the other stuff, because I know that there are people out there that would love it and absolutely love it and like it's their style and they're going to embrace it and they're going to love it and I want somebody to have it and love it as much as I love my other stuff. So anyway, so that's that's we we got 6 months before that actually happens though guys. So there we go. Now, I didn't even use all of the cards. No, scratch that. I brought in other cards besides the stories by the month because I wanted to do this uh, all three by four card page protector here. I want it to, to mix it up because I've been using design A for January and February and I thought March should be something different. So here is a four by six card that I have cut down and it says bloom and grow and I don't need to bloom and grow. I mean, I'm not, I didn't plant flowers in March. I didn't do any, like, I just didn't do it. It just, there's other stuff going on in our lives and Planting new flowers outside wasn't a priority, so the ones that come back up came back up, and I didn't put any of those um, nice little flowers you gotta plant every year. So that didn't happen. I have no reason for bloom and grow, so I'm covering that sucker up. Now, I do have to say, I really liked the color theme for this month. I liked the oranges and the greens and the blues and all that kind of fun stuff together. So it was nice. These two Maryland cards down here on the bottom came from the Echo Park, uh, I think it's the state side. Whatever that, whatever that thing was where they came out with every single, you know, every single state had their own paper. And I bought it because, you know, we used to live in Maryland and we can go visit. But I got to say the Maryland flag is wicked cool, guys. It is, it is the best looking flag of the United States, in my opinion. And moving to California did definitely, definitely did not change that. I mean, there's a bear on the, on the flag out here. And while I don't have anything against bears, it's a bear on a flag. The Maryland flag to me just has some serious style. So anyway, love the Maryland flag so much that we had a wooden one 
uh, made up for us, and it hangs over our bathtub. So, yeah, love the Maryland flag, guys. Now, over here is one of those times where I am making the cards work because I just don't want I just don't want that much of somebody else's handwriting in my album. So I've already decided I'm going to leave this card that says I'm sorry for the things I said when it wa I was when it was winter because I'm not a fan of the cold, hate the cold, despise the cold, don't want to ever be cold ever. It can be in the summertime and I'm wearing flannel pajama pants, like big fluffy footy socks, uh, sweatshirt and under a blanket in our living room because I don't want to be cold. And sometimes the air conditioning is just too cold for me and it's not even that it's it's really not even that cold so kind of crazy now this is one of the things i like to do with stamps what i do sometimes if i have an acrylic stamp i cut them apart and sometimes the only thing i do is use a little bit of washi tape to cover up the area i don't want inked then i ink all over the stamp and then pull that washi tape up now i'm not exactly sure why it is but these Allie Edward stamps are ridiculously sticky. I mean ridiculously sticky. Without ink on them. Just straight out of the package. And it actually tears the paper a little bit. And it's really upsetting to me for two reasons. One, like why is it doing that? It shouldn't do that. Right? Like it just shouldn't. It shouldn't do it. it. Ticks me off. So that's upset. And two... Like, she stamps all the time and it never happens to her. So, I don't know. <laughs> now, I do have to say, I probably... What, what takes me off is when I do it on my cheap white card stock, you know, those $1.99 on sale packs that come from Michaels, because I don't, I don't buy expensive quality card stock for this kind of thing, for matting photos, for doing this kind of stuff. It just... I, it's not worth it to me. But... What ticks me off is it even happens on her cards, which are really super high quality. I mean, the, the cardstock has a heavy weight to it. The saturation of color is beautiful. Like the printing is great. It, they feel really nice in your hand and, it's, and it does that too. The stamps do that too. It drives me insane. Now, this photo that I'm using right now is just a little glimpse of the albums for 2016. 2016 ended up having seven albums that's five albums for just family memories and then i had two albums for a girl's disney trip and dang if i didn't spend more money on that fifth basket weave album than i ever would have normally so when i switched over to d-ring albums i decided that i wanted my years to match so like all of 2000 14 needs to be the same one. All of 2015 needs to be the same one. All of 2016 needs to be the same one. Except for Disney. Disney albums are separate. They get their own same. Um, before I did D-Ring albums, I used Creative Memories albums. And not Creative Memories pages, but just some regular old plastic page protectors in there. And it didn't matter. I would just grab whatever color cover set I had and put it out there and that was it. But... For some reason, when I got the D-Ring albums, I really wanted them to match. And I bought four of these Blue Basket Weave albums on clearance, killer killer sale, like ridiculously killer sale. And figuring that four should be enough. Four should be enough for a year, right? I mean, you would think that. But it wasn't. I knew I needed a fifth album. And I ended up paying full price for the sucker and shipping on it because I needed the album. And it had been discontinued and I couldn't find it anywhere. So once I found it, I bought it. Now, so, oh, that just stresses me out a little bit. And now I'm stressing out about this year because I bought four albums again. And I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. I think I might need another one. Which just, you know, bites the big one. Anyway. Anyway, now I'm thinking about covering up the quotation marks here on this I'm sorry for the things I said when it was winter card. And I end up just covering up the quotation marks on the bottom with the rainbow. And I thought that the rainbow was kind of appropriate, you know, because winter is over. So there you go. It's just made sense in my head. Now, 
these were those these bottom ones were I had hit some YouTube milestones. So that was exciting. And the, I do have a couple pictures of our Yosemite trip in here. Um, this the picture of the car is like the car's first time seeing snow and it legitimately the first time seeing snow because the car was bought in California and we don't get snow where we live. Um, then, you know, a picture of me and my husband and more snow on the ground. And I, my Yosemite scrapbook pages are going to have their own scrapbook pages, but I don't mind throwing these little pictures in here in the pockets and then having full scrapbook page layouts about Yosemite. I'm totally cool with that. And this um, bottom picture, which you can't really tell what it is, it's food saved chicken and beef. <laughs> now, I love the food saver and I would probably never make a scrapbook page about it, but I would put a picture of the food saved chicken and beef in my uh, pocket page album for the month. I do love a food saver and every time we've bought one, it's been from Target. The first, the first food saver we got was like the most basic model they had. This is years ago and I think I got it on clearance for like 11 bucks or something. It was ridiculous. That was back when Target actually put their clearance down to 90% before they salvaged everything out. And, you know, it goes to Goodwill or wherever it goes. So I do believe every single food saver has been bought at Target. And this last food saver that we got, super deal on it. I believe it was on sale and it had a cartwheel deal on it. Um like super deal so that was exciting anyway getting getting waxing poetic about the food saver and that picture of me down on the bottom left corner with those deep dark circles on my eyes it just just a moment <laughs> with those deep dark circles i was tired and then of course i have a photo of my son he sent us a selfie uh one day while he was out and it's kind of ridiculously crazy to think that that child of ours is a man and our teenage daughters are young women now and they are going to be all gone. We're, we've got one already out in the Marines and I've got two other ones looking at their futures and what they want to do and where they want to go and how they want to achieve their goals and their dreams and just sitting here thinking it's too soon. <laughs> um, not that I'm going to hang on to them and like not let them leave the nest and all that kind of stuff. But I was always excited because I felt that we would still be young when our kids were grown because we got married so young. I always said, you know, the year I turn 40 is the year my youngest turns 18. So I was like, we'll still be young when our kids are, are grown and adults and we can still do stuff and we won't be like old. And boy, I feel old. <laughs> some days and it's just crazy that um it's just crazy that their time just goes by so fast it just goes by so fast okay now i'm using my fuse tool and i'm double fusing the pocket just in case for some reason one of those little things don't hold up i don't want all of this fun glitter and sequiny stuff to come out all over the place. So haven't done the journaling. We'll do the journaling later. I'm going to add some on those lines and probably that bottom card and then I'll be done. Thanks for watching guys.